out of nowhere, with flames and smoke and everything. Must have been some kind of meteor, I reckon. Get the dog! You'd better have one heck of an explanation for all this. What, Medios? What's this got to do with us? But anything you can tell me about this, I'd be grateful. Oh, you've come to get me out of here. I don't believe it. This is brilliant. Nice going, Chief. Jesse. What's that? Mum? Mum! I'm sorry. Can I do anything? You should go and lie down. Have you taken anything for it? You are never going to believe what happened to me last night. I know I shouldn't have gone out, and I'm sorry, but I was right. Well, almost right. The meteors, or whatever they are. I told you about them, remember? Well, one came down on the cops and... <coughs> Jesse. Jesse, where did you get to last night? There's a good dog. Why are you tied up like this? It's all right, I'll sort it out. Okay. There we go. You have to be quiet, because Mum's got a headache. That's enough! Take that stinging animal out of here! Take it out! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It did look like a beauty. But inside, it was more like, oh, I don't know, alive. Alive? Hmm? Well, that's what she said, isn't it? Alive. She. Oh, Adam, I hope you're not talking about Miss Wannabe a TP here. Megabot, it's something she said. Jade the Obscure. <laughs> Living stones. You're serious, aren't you? You really think she's on something? Oh, I don't know. Just get a feeling. I mean, she seems so sure of herself. A pod. That looks like a rock. I guess anything's possible. I got a pencil case that looks like a banana. <laughs> Look, I really want to check this thing out. You got any ideas? Wait a sec. My parents. They have this friend, Beth. She's some kind of botanist or something. She showed us around Kew Gardens once. If you want to know about wacky weeds or freaky flowers, she's the one to ask. Cool. It's a start. We'll pick up Jade and we'll be on our way. Well, it's hardly Times Square on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> More like downtown Pompeii on a Sunday morning. Hey, look at the way all the curtains are closed. It's kind of weird, huh? Yeah. There's nobody about. So what do you think I should do about this meteor business? What if it really is a meteor? Meteors do not look like that when they crack open. Meteors don't look like that inside. Meteors just... I'll get it. Adam, make a bite. What? Come on, kid. We come to save you from the seething mass of chaos and debauchery. Where are we off to, then? Well, we want to see if you can identify the pod you found last night. Yeah, see if they got anything like it at Kew Gardens. So, you fancy a trip to town? Just try and stop me. <laughs> Bye, Mum. I hope you feel better. I'll see you later. <whistles> Mulberry Wood 5306, Gladys Tom speaking. Mr. 
person can take just so much, Chester Tongs. There she is. Beth, hi. Megabyte! No. Hey, look at you. What are those parents of yours feeding you on? Plant food? Yeah, then every night they stretch me on the rack. <laughs> well, what brings you to Q? Actually, we came to see you. Ah, oh, 30,000 different types of plants, and he's come to see me. You always were an odd child, Megabyte. Well, weird plants is kind of what we want to talk to you about. Jade found a, well, we think it's a pod, and we we're wondering if you might be able to identify it. Sure, I'd love to. Let me see it. Ah, well, <laughs> that's the problem. Ah. My dog's always taking things, berry stuff all over the place. Right. But I do remember exactly what it looks like. A tail, four legs, and a little wet nose, I imagine. Not the dog. Come on, guys, can we be serious? I do have some photos. Oh, right. OK. Um, all I'm going to get from these are sore eyes. I'm sorry. Look, Professor Halliday, are there any pictures or books that Jade might be able to go through to have a look? Well, if it's pictures you want to see, hmm. Come with me. No. It looked more like it was stone on the outside. Uh, lithophytes. Litho what? Lithophytes, plants that grow on rocky ground. They can sometimes camouflage themselves to look like stone. Ah, oh, there. Living stones. Hm, pretty neat. No, it wasn't like any of these. No, no, none of them look like it. Do the words wild goose and chase suddenly spring to mind? He's right. This is hopeless. Oh, now, come on. It's not the end of the world. I mean, perhaps that dog of yours will turn up with a pod or whatever, or perhaps you'll find another one in the woods. Then I might be able to help you out. All right, thanks a lot anyway, Beth. Oh, um, now here's my card. This is where I do my private research. If I'm not here, I'm usually there, so just give me a call. Okay. I'm just sorry I couldn't do more. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, listen, this will cheer you up. Um, what are you doing this evening? Oh, Beth, if you're planning on taking us out for pizza, I know the best place where we can go. Megabyte, no, I was gonna invite you to my lecture here this evening. Lecture? Yeah, it's on my pet subject, ultrasonic seed enhancement. Sounds uh, fascinating. No, it is. It's a new method of using high frequency sounds to speed up the germination of seeds. Wow. Yeah, um, it sounds unmissable. Unfortunately, tonight's my, uh, 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 my bath night. <laughs> well, uh, another time? Uh, m maybe, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Beth. We'll see you later. Come on, guys. Hey, give your parents my love. Will do. Bye, Beth. Yeah, uh, thanks okay. again. <laughs> Bye, and remember tonight's lecture. Yeah. A lecture about fast-growing seeds. Right. No, don't touch it. Just wait till we get ah, there. Ah, that's white hole on the phone. I knew one word from me, and they'd be down on you like a ton of bricks. Yeah, we'll be there in about five yeah, minutes. To the back of you, man! Remove General Damon's kit from my office. Stop! General Beaumont Savage, I have no intention of vacating this base until my business here is complete. You have done nothing but hinder and hassle me since I got here. And if anyone's gonna get onto the authorities to complain, it's gonna be me about you! I do hope I've made myself clear. You were saying? Well, you think you're playing at your great tub of lard? Put all that stuff back immediately in general. Damon's office. Good. Good, okay, we'll be right with you. Henderson's standing guard over it, sir. There's no way anyone will get at this one. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, get this show on the road. We are back in business. Two buses a day and we had to miss them both. It's just around the next corner. Anyway, I told you you should have teleported. Yeah, the kid has a point, Adam. Do you think there's any chance I could be a tomorrow oh. person? I want to be one. I want to be one so badly. I told you, Oh, couldn't I be one? Please, Adam. It, it's not up to me. If you're going to be one, you'll be one. It'll happen. Yeah. Meanwhile, here we are back in Sleepy Hollow. I take it all back. Look, 
there, in the water. It's a meteor. As usual, right on cue. Take me to your leader, Dad. Yeah. Uh, look, just hang back here till we make sure it's safe, okay? Yeah, yeah sure. Look, I better just pop home. You're not gonna stay and watch? No, I'll have to see how my mum is. I'll catch you later. Bye. Yeah. Thermograph, engaged. Pressure integrity check reads three, eight, four to the second. Microscan, activated. How we doing, Bradley? Nothing yet, General. But it's not like any meteor I've ever come across. I am hoping for something from the ultrasound, but I don't know. Okay, stick with it. I'll check back in half an hour. Not a lot happening here, guys. You kidding? Napoleon's just crashed a whole convoy of Challenger tanks. Maybe Beth will be able to help us out. Beth? Beth Halliday? Yeah. She said if we had anything to show her. Whoa, hold up a moment. Beth Halliday is a botanist, not a geologist. Yeah, and Jade said that that thing in there was a pod, not a meteor. Oh, and you believe that? Pods from outer space? <laughs> Sounds like pure science fiction to me. Well, it's not that long ago that you would have said your son teleporting was pure science fiction. Yeah, well, 
Okay, sure. Why not? Bring Beth down here. Let's see what she makes of our little mystery. The more, the merrier. Excellent. We'll catch her at the lecture. Come on. All right, see you, Dad. All right, take five guys. I'll be back later. From decibels to bluebells. Now nah, I think I'll wait till Spielberg makes it into a movie. Nah, come on. There she is. Beth. Hi. 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 Oh, I'm so glad you could come. Yeah, we uh, wouldn't have missed it for the world. Uh, look, Beth, we found one of those pods. We want you to take a look at it. Oh, sure. I'd love to. Um, but it's going to have to be after the lecture. I'm supposed to be starting any second. Dr. Halliday, if you're ready. Oh, right. OK. Um, why don't you stick around, grab a couple of seats. Um, you might find it interesting. OK. Well, good luck. Thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Initiating internal scan now. Seeds. Thousands of seeds. Incredible. So it is some kind of pod after all. General Damon, maybe you should come over here. I don't know what I found, but I do have something you might like to see. Stay there, I'll be right over. Oh, don't worry about all the gear. One thing I am sure of, it's perfectly harmless. Damon. <sighs> yes. Yes, I'm sorry you've had General Beaumont Savage on your back. Oh, right. <laughs> Nobody likes to be taken over like that. <laughs> That's better. You were saying? Indeed. But rest assured, peace has been restored. Yes, that's fine. OK. Be seeing you. as it seems, the growth of plants can indeed be stimulated by sound. As you can see here on this diagram, the, the streaming movement of protoplasm in plant cells slows down in the early morning and then again here in the evening. But my experiments have clearly shown that this streaming pattern can be radically altered using an audio frequency generator. Even a brief 10-minute burst can lead to an explosive increase in the growth rate. 
Um, trials that I carried out over a two-year period on a purple passion houseplant that would normally have only grown to 18 inches produced a monster 400 feet long. I know, and that's only the half of it. Using a unique high-pitched blend of musical and natural sounds stored on a disc, I was able to induce early maturity in seeds. It was then that I made the sensational discovery that... <laughs> I don't know. What was it you wanted to show me when you phoned through to the office last night? Oh, yeah. I just run the internal scan of the pod. So it is a pod, not a meteor. Are you sure of that? Well, meteors don't normally come stuffed full of seeds, do they? So the girl was right all along. I should have listened. General, what's going on out there? We've sealed off the main block. Danger's been contained. Yes, but you're going to need all Hey, hey, hey! Calm down. The only thing you're gonna do is stay right here and get yourself fit, okay? Okay. Okay. That's better. <laughs> I got some frozen peas in here somewhere. Breakfast is the last thing I want this morning. Not for your stomach, for your head. So how you doing? Oh, I'm all right. It's Beth I'm worried about. I mean, who'd want to kidnap a botanist? Tulip-loving terrorist? I don't know. Yeah, the cops didn't come up with much better. Maybe we should tell my dad about this. Yeah. We've got to contact Jade first. What is it with you and her? Adam, huh? <laughs> no. No, I've got a feeling. It's like she, she's connected. She's involved somehow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. Then again, we're stuck with the kid. <laughs> No, I say we go back to the base, see my old man. Come on, give her 15 minutes. Five. Ten? But if nothing happens, then we're out of here, all right? Okay. Ah! 